A virus that has taken two years before discovery was finally uncovered, and it's called the flame. Beware, guys, because this virus is meaner than the Trojan. Kaspersky Lab chief malware expert Vitaly Kamluk said that the newly discovered sophisticated flame computer virus is part of a secret cyber warfare likely between nations. The Russian cybersecurity software maker claimed responsibility for discovering the virus that they believe was deployed at least five years ago to engage in state-sponsored cyber espionage in Iran and other Middle Eastern countries. Flame can gather data files remotely changing settings on computers, turning on PC microphones to record conversations, take screenshots and log instant messaging chats. It took us some time to analyze the code. We didn't understand what we found because uh, we were looking for a uh, mysterious application responsible for the wiping of computer systems. Uh, so uh, we thought we found it um, and then it took us a couple of weeks uh, to uh, reverse engineer part of its code because it's really huge in size and it may take up to a year to do a full analysis of this code. The full coverage. According to Kamloop, evidence suggests that the virus may have been built on behalf of the same nation or nations that commissioned the Stuxnet worm that attacked Iran's nuclear program in 2010. Cybersecurity experts said the discovery publicly demonstrates what experts privy to classified information have long known, that nations have been using pieces of malicious computer code as weapons to promote their security interests for several years. We think that this is uh, one of the rare examples of um, cyber weapon and it actually illustrates the fact that there are some cyber warfare operations going on there secretly. Uh, one of the uh, key features of cyber warfare as we define it is, uh, you know, it's uh, completely, uh, complete secretness. So it, nobody knows about the cyber warfare going on. This is one of the main features. Otherwise, it, some of operations will not be probably so successful. The question of who built flame is sure to become a hot topic in the security community as well as the diplomatic world. Kaspersky experts say that they have yet to determine whether flame had a specific mission like Stuxnet and Kamluk declined to say who he thought built it. There is currently no strict evidence pointing to a specific country or even a region uh, might be uh, related to the development or operation of this cyber attack. Iran has accused the United States and Israel of deploying Stuxnet and Kaspersky Lab said it discovered flame after a UN telecommunications agency asked it to analyze data on malicious software across the Middle East in search of the data wiping virus reported by Iran. Uh, it took about two years actually to, uh, to catch this malware uh, because uh, our estimation is that it was created somewhere in 2010, at least in 2010. And uh, the reasons why it was not detected since then, uh, there, there are quite a uh, few of reasons. First of all, it's a limited number of users that were infected. The Kaspersky lab said Flame and Stuxnet appear to infect machines by exploiting the same flaw in the Windows operating system and that both viruses employ a similar way of spreading. Some experts suspect the United States and Israel of building Stuxnet and other virus Dooku, a view that was laid out in January 2011. New York Times reported that it came from a joint program that began around 2004 to undermine what they say are Iran's efforts to build a bomb.